That's fun. <laughs> Here's a look at Philadelphia this morning, the headquarters of Urban Outfitters. That is the newest fashion company to get into the rental business. Rent the Runway and Taylor Express and American Eagle are already renting clothing to customers for a monthly subscription price. The online clothing rental market is expected to reach, listen to this, $1.85 billion worldwide by 2023. That's according to Allied Market Research. USA Today business reporter Sharice Jones is here to show how the business of renting clothing is really changing the retail game. Good to see you, Cherise. Good to see you. You guys are like this. I went to the green room and say, how did we get you? How, we were so lucky to have you on Memorial Day holiday. How did we get you? She said, I had nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> I had to tell the truth. I said, I'll no. keep That's it why right. you're here, too, Cherise. <laughs> we, we are still glad you were here at the table. Thank you. So let's talk about this running of the clothes, because did it start with, did they look at the success of Rent the Runway and say, hey, they're on to something here? I mean, I think that's part of it. I mean, I think retailers are always looking for a new revenue stream, and this mm -hmm. is a way to kind of get new customers and give a new option to old customers, right? Mm -hmm. Because we're in an economy where everybody shares everything, right? Yes, you you right. share bicycles with City Bike, you share Ubers, you share your house with Airbnb. Yeah. So clothing is kind of the next frontier. And we're also in the age of Instagram, so you want to mix up that wardrobe a little bit, too. Right. And so all of this really appeals to it's consumers. It's the fast fashion thing that's driving this in some ways, right? Exactly. It is. But, you know, with fast fashion, it can get very wasteful. Yeah. And a lot of folks don't feel comfortable wearing an outfit like once or twice and then putting it in the closet or tossing it in the trash. Yeah. This way you get to use it and then pass it on to somebody else. You know, well, Stella McCartney said something really interesting about the fast fashion. She said most people only wear the clothes three times yeah. Yeah. and then they get rid of it. And it's over five, 500 million dollars worth of waste exactly of just huge, throwing out the clothes issue right i never but, thought about it but like the that. fast fashion is driven by the fact that these clothes are pretty cheap they're not often they're sometimes they're made to just be worn a few times and, and you get rid of them yeah if if something is worn two or three times are they're confident that there's a market of people out there who want to wear clothes that have been on someone else's back well, I mean, obviously it's working out because people want to, like, have a different outfit for every Instagram shot, right? So if something is lasting for two or three months, that's the season. Yeah. Somebody else can use that. Somebody else can use that. So you can keep passing it on. So what there's still that desire for it. it. Is there an insurance well, they, policy? Well, they clean it. I well, mean, they're going you know, to laundry. Right. right. They, they dry things. clean it. They have laundering services. So they make sure that they try to maintain it. And if not, then they toss it and get something else. So how does this work? Is this economically sort of, is it a good deal for customers? I mean, I think you can get one outfit for a hundred dollars or you can get five outfits for a hundred dollars uh -huh. right so urban outfitters is charging 88 dollars to get six items a month so that's a really good price as okay. opposed to going out and buying all of those things and then not wearing them that often so mm -hmm. it makes sense for a lot of consumers it does listen i've done rent the runway when jennifer first started it i, I was curious because i thought how would that work to your point wearing somebody else's clothes but if you're going to a black tie event you only yeah. know you're going to wear it one Once, time yeah. right it really does make a lot of sense if you want your kardashian moment but you don't have Kardashian money, you know, that makes a lot of sense. You can get something that costs a few thousand dollars, but you're renting it for a couple of hundred. And then you go out, you go to your wonderful event, then you send it back. And yeah. so for a lot of people, that's more economically feasible. I'm still waiting for my Kardashian moment. But yeah. how long, how long <laughs> I know that get... struck me too, yeah. <laughs> um, how long do you get to keep these clothes for? Usually it's about a month, uh -huh. and sometimes you can swap them out more frequently. So you get like three out items, and then you can kind of trade it in and, you know, mix it up a little bit more and be more flexible with your wardrobe during you were, that month. You were telling me Walmart for program. baby clothes. I thought that that was a good That's idea. That's a great idea. A lot the world has all the baby clothes it needs yeah. for like a decade. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Sharice Jones, thanks so much for being here.